again, if I were trying to factor something and I would say which one's the easiest one to do, I would claim that's the easiest one to do. The reason being is the rational root theorem really has very little choice on it. And what are the choice on it? Let me write this down for you, plus or minus the factors of two, which are one and two, and the factors uh, of the coefficient on the XOR term is one, so I'm not gonna bother with that. So I, I would say you, you try them out. And certainly, I know you might be discouraged, but there's only four things to try. But I'm gonna say, if you said, oh, X equals one is a root, this would not work. If you said, oh, X equals minus one is a root, this would not work. If you said X equals two is a root, it would work. Let me go through that with you. You're gonna get 16 minus 32. They're easy to check, by the way. If they're small numbers, easy to check. Plus four, plus 14, minus two. I'll let the country in positive numbers. So it's 34, and these negative numbers here is minus 34. Of course it works, all right? So I, I'm glad I got that. All right, let me write that down for you. So what'd you get over here? You would get X minus two. All right, now I'm not gonna go through the long division, but what you'd have to do now is a long division. But we've been doing enough of those, I'm pretty sure you can do that on your own. And if you do the long division, you can get this over here. X cubed minus two X squared minus three x plus one. Now, someone said, what are you gonna do with that? Well, you know what? You could factor it, maybe, but I gotta be honest with the rational root theorem, the only possible choices are plus or minus one. We've already shown they failed. So I'm gonna say there are no rational roots to that one over there. So I'm done factoring it. This is done. There's nothing left for me to do. There's nothing left to do in that problem over there. Now I move to the other one. So the other one, I'm looking at it, I'm trying to think to myself is, if it's got a root, right, a rational root, it's gotta be X minus two. Now by the way, I say it's gotta be that, it may not be that. If it's not that, I'm done with the problem anyway. But what you need to do is you need to do a long division. And when you do that, you're gonna find out quite simply, it gives you X cubed minus two X plus three. So I am at the stage now where I got them factored. There's no other factors they're gonna share in common, by the way. So what am I gonna do now? I am going to write down the LCM. So I'm gonna write down, it definitely contains an X minus two in it. It definitely contains an X cubed minus two X plus three. And it definitely contains a factor of x cubed minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. We're done. And by the way, this is the favored form. Someone says, why do you multiply it out? Some people do multiply them out. My belief is they add nothing to the problem by multiplying it out. Nothing at all. All right, thank you.